Hey, this is Ron, Ron Woodturning. I'm going to make some pins. Got these uh, pin kits from PSI Woodworking, Penn State Industries, and some blanks. So, the quick and easy projects, but I got relatives here and they need a pin. So, stick with me and we'll make some pins. Alright, so this is a piece of black walnut. And what I'm going to do is mark so I can cut it to the right length. So I give it just a little bit of space right here, just about a fingernail wide. Mark it. And the width of the saw blade right here. And mark it. So now I'll take it over my bandsaw and cut two blanks. Alright, cut them both to length. And now we're going to drill them. Get it all set up in here. There we go. Nope. I hate these. I'm going to have to get me another another chuck. I don't like this one. But it'll work. That's all I got right here. Very good. Alright, I got a seven millimeter drill bit. One down. Now the other one. Alright, now we're done with this. And the drill. So we'll put in our mandrel with a hole in it, live center, and the pin mandrel. So I'm going to score these up and glue them. I'll be back. <clears throat> I got the dropsies. So to score these up, there's a number of ways of doing it. You can do it on a little belt sander I got, or you can do it just with a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. Okay. Just twist it around, get it nice and scored up, and uh, that way the glue will stick better. And I'm going to epoxy these instead of super glue. So you just got to give it something to grab. Simple as that. So, alright, well this is two part epoxy. Equal parts. And I'm just going to mix it up. Probably could have 
found something stiffer to hold it. All right. Take my scuffed up tubes. Put a little on there. Pop it in the blank. Smear off the end. Get the second one. That's got to dry more than five minutes, trust me. Just because it says five minute epoxy don't mean it five minutes. So we'll let those dry and uh, we'll take a little quick tour. All right, well, don't mind the mess, but there's my band saws, my grinder, my belt sander. Over there, I got some cornhole boards, I got my planer. And my router set up on the table. This table here is on wheels. Got a built-in table saw. Here's my other table. Now this is uh, a cheap way to get a good table. Those are Harper Freight benches. And I caught them on sale for like 120 bucks. And then I took the, some uh, three-quarter inch plywood, joined the two together, and put wheels on it so now I got a bigger bench with wheels I can move around where I want it over there is my little bar area and uh, been spending some time in there <laughs> and just more shelves I built a shelf to put all of my uh, battery powered stuff on so, shop's come along real good. Still got to move my big lathe over here. And I still got to move my large bandsaw and my large drill press. Uh, up here, I got uh, two air filtration units. I got one there and one over there. And then right here, I got my cyclone set up on top of a barrel in my shop vac, and I just roll it where I want it. And uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm liking it. Plenty of room. When I pull my Can Am outside, that opens up that whole area on the other side over there. So, yeah, I'm loving it. So, let's get back to pins. All right, they're all dried up, so I am going to square the ends. And load them up. Tighten it up. Perfect.
I did all that at 2200 RPMs, and that, this wood is just super plain Jane, so I'm going to torch it a little bit, see if I can bring some of the grain out. <laughs> my abrasive paste. I'm using the dark stuff. Maybe I can get some even more character in the wood. It's just a uh, mix of mineral oil, beeswax, and rotten stone. Triple E rotten stone. This particular one, I didn't know it was this color when I bought it, but Turns out it works pretty good on spalting and giving a little highlight to some grain. So we'll uh, spin that. Polish it up a little bit. Smooth it out a little more. And he works the same way with axe or hamster machine, whatever that stuff is. It's just an abrasive paste. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Alright, put some polish on it. We'll finish it up. This is canuba wax, and I'm just gonna spin it and melt this stuff in. You gotta hold it on there till your fingers get hot. Smoking! Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Turn a plain Jane piece of wood into something with a little bit of character anyway. Cool. Let's put it together. Alright, so here's all the pieces. So I'm going to start with the cap first. Let me take these two, put the cap on, kind of get it started a little bit. And I'm going to need a little bit more wood spaced in there. There. Now I'll put the end piece on. There we go. And I'm missing over here it is. 
now the uh, motor, they call it, goes in like this. And they say you're supposed to go up to that little line right there. But I always stop before that and check it. If you go too far, it's a bitch to get back out. Right before it. Now check it. And it's just barely poking out, so I need to go a little further. I'm going to go right to the line. Like it says. And see, I want a little bit more sticking out. Not a lot. So I'm going to hit it one more time. Right there. Alright, now I'll put the uh, little collar in the middle. Put the pin in. There we go. Nice little pin. Copper accent. Works good. Perfect. Alright, that was a short little project. Just make a little pin. And I got some other stuff I gotta do, but it's outside. And uh gotta work on my uh, barbecue picnic area. And uh might go do some prowling around in the woods <laughs> later. So happy New Year's Eve and uh glad y'all stuck with me. Like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it. And y'all have a great day and a safe night.